Okay, so I had this broken Russian clock. It wasn't working anymore. And I decided to take it apart. And I found a little balance wheel, and it was kind of a jar. I gave a little flick and bent it a little bit, and it, it, it appears to be keeping time, as well as a Russian clock, I guess, can keep time. So it's probably pretty good when it was running before. It worked fairly well. It also has this device in the back, and that's how it's running fast or slow. It's got a plus and a minus, and you can change that. When I was in the Navy back in 72, we used a similar clock, only the device was it had a way to speed it up and slow it down. Of course, only quartermasters had the keys to clocks, and they were the official clock winders of the ship. I understand they don't have quartermasters anymore, and they don't have my rate anymore either. I guess that just means I got old. But I'm going to show you how to put this back together, because I was on YouTube and couldn't find anything. I have no idea how to work on clocks. I did this by the seat of my pants, much like our government works today, by the seat of their pants. So uh, let's get started. This is what it looks like with the mechanism taken out of the clock. Of course, it has a hinge door on the front and a locking lever on the side. And that's how you... Uh, and that's what it looks like when the mechanism's out of there. It's quite the case. This thing's pretty thick. It's very well made. It's, as far as the case, I think the whole ship could sink and this thing would still survive. When I went to take the clock apart, I found originally there were four screws that held the face on. They're really small, probably metric in measurement, um, or whatever a standard of thread pits the Russians use in Russia. Uh, if it's millimeters, these things are small, maybe two, three, four millimeters across or tiny. And they held the face on, but that didn't help me get the clock apart. And I could move the face plate, and when I did move the face plate over, I found another set of screws, which got me into these little screws here, which are, well, they're much larger than uh, the screws I had originally, but still they're, they're very small. And those four screws held the entire clock into this into this big iron case so that's how uh, that's how that's how I got it apart I was able to move you can move this face all the way around and you can get to the different positions where the screws are right there and you can see the other screw hole for the face plate which holds it in place so you, you can move it all the way around and, and put the screws in so that's what I'm going to do so you can see that Okay, these screws appear to have pretty fine pitch thread in them. I would be uh, using a magnetic screwdriver. And uh, probably it's the smartest thing to work around a clock with, but I don't want to drop these and you really want to be careful putting them in. Because you got to get the plate, you got to get the screw up underneath that plate. And you also can't cross thread that screw. Might be too old to do this. And they want to raise your retirement age to 69. I don't think I'd make it. So I'm going to be really careful. Don't look like I'm being careful. Yeah. They're all going to have us retiring at age 69. I guess Whoopi can show them how to do it, you know? People express their views on television. I always like that. I like Whoopi as an actress. She did a really good job at Ghost. A good job of acting. I don't know why. Why is it that? It's like me fixing this clock. I have no idea what I'm doing. None whatsoever. Never worked on a clock before in my life. And I could probably do it. There's probably some clock maker, clock maker turning over in his grave right now thinking, you're ruining that clock. And I think about, you know, we have a lot of people not qualified to do things. They sure will give opinions. 
Of course, it makes you kind of wish they give their opinion, but I just want to know what the real answers are, you know. Kind of like Katrina. I've seen a lot of people screaming about how they weren't getting any help, but them same people, they didn't go help anybody there. Of course, living in a place that has hurricanes all the time, and having been to a few volunteers myself down in Florida, it's amazing who I didn't see there. Certainly didn't see Whoopi and her crew. They sure can't tell you how to do stuff. Funny how that works. Funny how that works. Everybody's got an opinion. Yeah, I'm screws going pretty. I'm not going to tighten them yet until I get them all in. They are countersunk, but I just want to make sure they're all in. Kind of get an even torque on them. I wouldn't. I wouldn't even. Couldn't even begin to guess what the torque would be on these. I don't even think it'd be in ounces. Inch ounces. It's probably in uh, in newtons or something, something pretty darn small. So if you do happen to do this, if you have one of these clocks and you decide you want to tear into it, um, I'd be real careful of how much force you put on those screws. You know, I was thinking about the Russians when I was fixing this clock. You know, they were our enemy. I guess they're still our. I don't know if they're our enemy or not. I guess not. We got plenty of other enemies now. Or, well, I guess we don't have enemies. We're told they're not our enemies. It's funny, you know, how people aren't our enemies, but they're trying to kill us, but that's not our enemy. We need to figure out who that is, I guess. But, uh, so you got to get that screw up underneath that plate. I apologize for my Moran... Moran... Uh, <laughs> mine is going on here, but... But uh, I gotta say something, or this video is not gonna have any sound to it. So uh, you know, I love the I love the philosophies of politicians. You know, like you got that philosophy: you feed a man a fish, you fed him for a day. Of course, if you teach a man to fish, shoot, he'll never work again. He'll just be fishing all the time. But. Uh, and more and more people don't want to work. Everybody wants to get on some kind of dole. And then all the rest of us got to support them. Not sure how that's supposed to work. If you're going to prove people to do it, then we keep sending jobs overseas. We don't make anything anymore. We make some stuff, I guess. So we're making something. We want to sell something to these other countries. So there's the last one. And all I have to do is find that last screw. And my clock's still ticking. I'm getting it back together. This thing was broken for a long time. My wife says I blamed it on my son for overwinding it. She said I reminded him of it all the time. I actually got this clock from my uncle. My uncle gave me this clock, I think it was Christmas or something one year. I guess when the Russians were, I guess they're selling off their stuff. Kind of like garage sale when you got all this old equipment. You get some clocks to sell. Sell you some Kalashnikovs, that's what they'll sell you. But anyway, as you can see I'm struggling with this screw because i got to get this plate up far enough. But not too far. See, the biggest problem I had was that hands in the middle. Because I thought you'd take the hands off to get to get underneath this plate, but I couldn't figure out how to do it, and I was afraid I'd tear the thing apart. Well, that's a that's a, that's a joke there, isn't it? I'll try that again. Kind of surgeon I'd make. It's not funny about doctors, isn't it? I was telling some of the other day, you know, electricity is really dangerous. If you had to put a circuit breaker in your house, you can go to you can go to Lowe's, Home Depot. I don't know if I should mention Commercial Ventures and buy a circuit breaker. 
put a breaker in your house. And you know what? You don't, They won't even ask for a prescription to get a circuit breaker. Medicine, can you imagine if you had to get a prescription from a licensed electrician to get a circuit breaker? I love medicine. They have no idea what they're doing. Okay, that's all four of those in. Hoorah, and all I can do is tighten them up. I don't know what, how much torque. I mean, just tight enough. I couldn't even begin to tell you, but they weren't real tight. But I'll be going around and get the rest of them. And like I said, I'm absolutely sure this is not how you repair this thing. But I have no idea. So I'm just winging it here. I was the guess. That's a good. That's a good 10, 15 inch pound. I'm gonna check it one more time. This is my Russian submarine clock. It wasn't running. I took it apart. I made a video on how to take it apart because uh, I couldn't find anything online. I figured it might help out a few people that I saw with these clocks. I don't know if they work or not. But it's been running. Uh, it's been running for two days now. And I was going to wind it up and see if it continued to run. And this is how that's done. And that's about it. Wound up and ready to go. And we'll see how long it runs. Oh, one other thing I can show you, if you have one of these or you're not sure, let me open it back up again. I forgot about this. This device up here is used to speed up and slow down the time to make it more accurate. It uh, connects directly to the little balance wheel inside this is the spring. It affects the tension on the spring is what it does. So that'll make the second hand uh, sweep faster or slower. Uh, it's um, it's keeping pretty good time right now. It's a little off. I got a little off the center. I might have to go a little bit more, but I'm going to let it run out some and see what it does and go from there.